Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play December 1963, Oh What a Night by the Four Seasons. This song has a great rhythm part to it. I've taken that classic piano riff and arranged it for guitar so you can work on your feel and your groove. I'm going to show you how to play the whole thing step by step. But before we get into the lesson, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. We've got new video lessons dropping every single day on the channel and hundreds of other lessons already posted that you can check out and they'll really benefit your guitar playing. Thanks for the support. Also, any comment for the YouTube algorithm, really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the lesson. The song starts off with this classic piano part. And like I said, I've arranged it for guitar. And then we go into the chorus where this riff just keeps going. Here's what it sounds like. We're gonna start out on the D string, third fret with our first finger. Then put your pinky on the sixth fret of the G string. So you have those two notes. We're gonna be playing sort of this funky two note part to start out. And what's happening is this note on the G string is always staying here, but this note below it is moving. So we'll start out with three and six. And then we're going to bring our first finger up one fret to four and six. And then we're going to bring it up to six and six. So I'll add my third finger there. So third finger and pinky. One and a two and. Then we're going to bring that third finger up and play the eighth fret. And I'll use my first finger to play that sixth fret on the G string. So we go. It's one strum on each one except for the last one you get two so the rhythm would go one and a two and three and four and so it'd be a down strum here and then an up strum that's the only up strum for this first part the rest are down one and a two and three and four This is just two notes of a G flat triad. So what we're going to do is add our second finger down on the seventh fret of the B string. And now we're on a G flat triad. We're going to play this next. That's the second bar. So what that is is a G flat triad. We're going to go one and a then on the and of two, we're gonna go to a D flat triad, which is just one finger on the D, the G, and the B strings. Six, six, six. One and a two and three. Then we play these little thirds. And I love this part. This is five on the G and four on the B. And then we drop it down a whole step or two frets, and then back up. So down. Strumming pattern down, up, down, 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 down. So the only up is the second strum. One and a on the uh of one. One and a two and three and four and. That's the second bar. So the first bar and the second bar, if I put them together, one and a two and three and four and one and a two and three and four and start again. So practice that along with the recording and the song has such a great feel to it you want to start to add in some sort of 16th note chicken scratch like muted strings like this so and that's just going to help you get the feel
for the chorus, and then we go to a little B section that sounds like this. So let me break down that chord progression. We've got a few new chords. E flat minor seven is where we start. And that's from the A string down, six, eight, six, seven, six. E flat minor seven. Then we go to G flat. And G flat, I'm playing this sort of Hendrix style thumb chord. Second fret here on the E string, mute the A string and play four, three, two on the D, G, and B strings. Mute the high E. Then another sort of Hendrix style, B flat minor seven, six on the low E, mute the A, six, six, six on D, G, and B. Then A flat, same as G flat, I'm just gonna move it up two frets. So that's the first four bars. Each chord is lasting one bar or four counts. So one, two, three, four, one. Here it kind of gets floatier, you know? So I'm just gonna do whole notes for this section, just four counts. Then we start again, two, three, four, one, two. Then we've got these rhythms. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and. So what that is is, on the recording, it's like in an A flat six to a G flat six over A flat. So what you can do is you can play the D, the G, and the B strings. Just do these nice little chords here. It's a triad. Six, five, six. Almost like a blues, like Stormy Monday or something. Right? And the rhythm is down, up, and a two e and a three and a and I'm resting right in between one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two and three and then we build back into the after that chorus there we go to sort of like a synth solo a little vamp for a C section and for that we're gonna play this. Let me break down that last section there. It's what we call a 2-5 progression. We're gonna go from a B flat minor seven to an E flat nine. For B flat minor seven, we're gonna play that same shape that we used earlier with our thumb, but maybe here I would recommend the second and third fingers. So sort of like the way a jazz player might play it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E. So that rhythm is down, up, one E and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two. Then on the and of two in the second bar, we hit an E flat nine chord. And that's going to be six, five, six, six, six from the A string down. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and if we repeat that one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two and then we do a walk up progression but we're gonna keep the rhythm the same. So that's an E flat minor seven chord we already saw. And then we're gonna take that up two frets to get an F minor seven. So that's the same shape, just on the eighth fret. Just to review, eight, 10, eight, nine, eight is where you should be. Then we're gonna go to G flat, which we saw, and then A flat. And that's really just da, 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 da. 
going up a D flat major scale. That's what we call it, like a walk up progression. So the rhythm, I'm just gonna go down, up, down, up with resting in between. And A flat, back to the riff. There you go, guys. That's a breakdown of Oh What a Night by the Four Seasons. I hope you enjoyed this and got some value out of this lesson. It's a really great song to practice your rhythm guitar playing, which is incredibly valuable if you want to play in a band and you want to just up your game and your groove. I can't stress enough focusing on rhythm guitar. Thanks for your support, you guys. If you're interested in learning more about lead playing, I have a free gift for you before you go. In the description below, you can get a PDF that's over 100 pages long, all about soloing. Check it out as my gift to you. Also, if you want to follow along with me, at John McLennan on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily, so you can be a part of it there as well. Thanks for your support. We'll see you guys in another video real soon.